In this video, I will discuss about the first step to predict hospital readmissions that is data pre-processing. I have already given the quick view of how to use machine learning to predict hospital readmissions in the previous video. So let's again have a look over the data set. We are having 50 features in the data set but you can also see there are some missing values in the data set that is this question mark variable. Also we are having several irrelevant data. So for balancing the data set we need to apply data pre-processing. So let's start with the steps involved in data pre-processing and feature engineering. Our first step is cleaning task. It involves dropping the bad data and uh, dealing with missing values. Our second step is modification of existing features that is in this step we will be applying standardization log transform methods and the third step is creation of new features it means that we will derive new features from the existing ones I will describe the implementation of all these steps later in this video so now let's come to Jupyter notebook and start with importing some of the Python libraries. Before importing, you need to install these libraries in your system using terminal. So first of all, we have imported pandas library as pd for loading the CSV file as a data frame. Thereafter, we have imported numpy, which is the fundamental package for scientific computing with Python and it is also used for n-dimensional array. We have thereafter we have imported statistics module as it provides functions for calculating mathematical statistics of numerical data. Thereafter we have imported matplotlib which is a 2D plotting library for generating interactive plots and histograms. Again we have imported minmax scalar from sklearn as it transforms features by scaling each feature to a given range. I will show you the working of these libraries uh, later in this video. So now let's begin with the loading the data set using pandas. Let's run this code. So after loading the data set we have we can display the number of rows and columns in the data set. So in this way we can display the number of rows and columns in the data set that is using dot shape using shape function so this is the number of rows and this is the number of columns in our data set now let's examine the data type of each features using describe function so using describe function this is the output which we have got Now, to get um, information about each and every features in our, of our data set, we can use info function. So, here all the data types of each and every features are displayed over here. Now, let's display the first five rows of the data set using head function so here is the output you can see that data is quite imbalanced also in the data set you can see that here is the readmitted feature that is here the number of readmissions are displayed So we are having three values in readmission feature that is no greater than 30 and less than 30. So uh, no no signifies over here that no uh, this patient was not readmitted into the hospital. Greater than 30 signifies that the the patient was readmitted after 30 days into the hospital and less than 30 signifies that the patient was readmitted into the hospital within 30 days. 
Now we are making a copy of a data frame for pre-processing. That is, we are copying DF ORI data frame into the DF data frame. Now let's run this command. That is code. Now we will calculate the number of missing values in the data set. So this is the code for that. So we will calculate the number. Uh, we will calculate the number of rows or columns which contains null value. Like you can see the code over here. Missing values dot number of missing values greater than zero. Now let's run this code. Since there are no missing values, that is, there are no rows and columns where there is none value, that's why we didn't get any get any output over here. Now let's proceed forward. Now we are creating a new feature that is service utilization from the existing features that is number out patient, number emergency and number inpatient. As uh, the service utilization data contains variables for number of inpatient that is number of patient for admissions emergency room visits and outpatient visits for a given patient in a previous one year. That's why we have combined all these features into a new variable that is service utilization. As it gives us better results. Now we are re-encoding admission type ID, discharge disposition ID and admission source ID into few categories as there are, there are quite a few categories for these features so we have collapsed these variables into few categories where it made sense for example admission types 1, 2 and 7 correspond to emergency, urgent care and drama and thus uh, we have combined all these all these admission types into a single category as these all are not non-elective situations. Now we will calculate the number of rows and columns which contains question mark that is this variable and again we are having a gender feature which contains unknown or invalid value so first of all we will calculate the number of rows and columns which contains such values and this is the output of this code like we are having 2273 rows having question mark variable in race feature and again in gender we are having three unknown or invalid value now let's come to recoding the outcome variable. The outcome variable we are looking at is whether the patient gets readmitted to the hospital within 30 days or not. The variable actually has greater than 30, less than 30 and no value or no categories. So we have uh, re-encoded all these categories into 0, 1 and 2. Also using count function we have counted the number of readmissions after 30 days, the number of readmissions after before within 30 days and no readmissions and this is the output displayed over here. Now I am done with this video. I will discuss about the further steps in the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you.